right, so this guy's got mint tea. Very fresh mint tea. You're literally crushing Atasha, up the mint. Atasha. Atasha. Sugar. Sugar? Yes, please. Yeah. Oh, yes. Nice. oh, yeah, nice. Oh, that is a lot of sugar. Tea. Whiskey Moroccan. Whiskey Moroccan. Yes. <laughs> okay. Thank you. So it seems that mint tea is the thing here. Like they're constantly coming around on the beach. I've given in and I've finally gone for one after being offered it about eight times. And initially he said it was going to be 20 dirhams for one cup. And that seems like a lot. Um, these guys said they got two for 20 yesterday, but we've managed to wangle today three for 40. It's really, really hot though. It does smell extra minty. Oh, it's nice. Very hot still. Ready for your surf finally? Shaka bra. Shaka bra. Oh, no, thank you. No more tea. Donuts. We want donuts. Okay, let's have a look. Are these cream or chocolate? Chocolate, normal. Do they have one with no filling? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want oh, one I'll of them? No filling. Okay. We'll have one no filling, and yeah, maybe one with. But how much? Good dinner. For for two? As well as the mint tea man, you've also got the donut man who walk around on Tiger Zoo Beach. So I've got one with. Did you go for a chocolate? Yeah, one? I got a chocolate filling. Yesterday I had one with cream filling. That one mm. was really good as well. Yeah. It's alright. I mean, it's no crispy creams, but considering he's just come to see me on the beach, I'm not mad about this. <laughs> just dusting, <laughs> dusting the sand off her feet. Dusting a bit. Yeah. You know, you don't want to have a sandy room. This is where we're staying at Tagazoo Ocean oh, View. I will give a, a little hostel tour tomorrow, but right now we're just going to make a quick stop to get ourselves showered, get the sand off of us, and then we're going to go to a bar to watch the sunset. Just shower, and I've just found the boys on the roof. Here they are. Hello. Hello. Look at this. The sun is setting. <laughs> what a beautiful rooftop this hostel has. Didn't bring the gin. I didn't bring the gin. No, I'm not drinking this holiday. <laughs> oh yeah. I don't like oysters though. <laughs> This is World of Waves. Are we stopping here? Or? Oh, they've got wine. <gasps> they've got wine. Cheers. <laughs> Not many places here sell alcohol, but this place does. I believe it was 55 dirhams for a glass of rosé. So it's certainly not cheap, whereas like most of the food and things is cheap here. But understandable because alcohol is just not many people drink. And I shouldn't be, but I feel like one glass is okay. For dinner, we went to a local place on the side of the main road. The food was so good and the portion sizes are so big. I got this meat couscous for just 60 dirhams and it was delicious. The complete. It's another day in Tagazoo. We just had a lovely little breakfast at a point. What was the name of the restaurant? Bella View, Bella... Bella Vista. Bella Vista. It was Bella Vista. It did have an absolutely stunning view. And do you know what? It was all right. But the um, <laughs> the reviews on Google Maps say that it's 2.7 stars, which we didn't even realise until afterwards. I get the impression that when it's busy, they have terrible service. That's why some people give them one star. But it's very quiet when we went. Um, so it was really OK. We, we were very happy with it. And now I am actually going to rent a surfboard today. So we're going to go to the same place that Karen and Jordan did yesterday. It's called Surf Shop Anchor Point. This guy gives us really, Hello. really good rate. Hello. We're back again. <laughs> but today we're having- Today I'm going as well. Three boards. Yes, yes, three boards. 60 dirhams for the foamy rental for the day plus oh, the wetsuit. I just wasn't ready to do it yesterday. I was in full relaxation, lazy mode. But today I'm like, yes, I'm going to do it. Off we go. <laughs> the gangs are out with their surfboards. They're actually easy to carry because there's, uh, there's a little handle there much easier than I feel like normal surfboards are to carry but that's good because you do have to walk a bit of a way from here down to the beach all right we've been sunbathing 
bathing for an hour or so, maybe even longer. But it's now time to finally go in. I think these are three millimeter wetsuits. I'd love to have my own wetsuit, but they're just so big to travel with. I just don't think I would ever get one. Oh, it's actually a nice wetsuit. Okay. I don't know how good my surfing is going to be. One, just because I'm not a very good surfer. But two, I'm going to try and bring my GoPro out on the floaty handle. So I'll be one hand down. So we'll see how this goes. Here we go. I'm just gonna go put my GoPro back, but I'm gonna go back out and surf without it. Finished our surf, caught a few gnarly whitewash waves. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, and our man's here. Hello. Hello. Got mint tea of the day. With, with sugar? Yes. Perfect. He is a hustler, and I am not very good at bargaining. You would think after all these years of backpacking that I would be like the best bargainer ever, and I just, I can't be bothered. Karen's much better, so they've managed to wangle with the same guy like two for 20. I just managed to wangle two for 30. So he's, so I gave him 30 and he's gonna come back later for me with another one, so I'm paying 15 each. And like, I don't know, I just... You guys are better at it. You're better at the game than I am. I'm Dutch. I'm Dutch, I love a good bargain. You, she loves a good bargain. Let apply my nice little Oh my gosh, it's really warm now, it's been in the sun. Oh. I've got to hand it to him. The mint tea is really nice. Yeah. And hat on. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. Hold on. town where we got it from but we're gonna go watch the sunset if there even is a sunset because it's a kind of a bit misty today just having a little snacky snack uh, I'm gonna go for the the tacos frites with the, the sausage which is this sausage right here it's not a dinner but we just feel like having something before we go to the skate park because we probably won't eat dinner for another few hours thank you oh look at that yeah Get in. Get in. And Karen's got a pizza. Look at So all of these dishes were 30 dirhams. So that's not bad. Any look like him? She's She's wearing light green as well. Sister, We're now starting our hike up this hill, which is going to take us to the skate park. Apparently it's it's a bit of a hike up. So I've actually set a hike going on my Apple Watch just to let you know exactly how far it is. And I've set it from the middle of town. And now our ascent begins. Here's the skate park. So we'll find ourselves a good little place to sit. That took us uh, nine minutes exactly to walk here. In fact, I'll pause it now. We gained 59 meters of elevation, half a kilometer, 0.48 kilometers. <laughs> this is so cool. What a fun thing to be able to do. Tonight we went to the teapot cafe for dinner. They had more Western options than what we'd been going for. So it was a little bit more expensive. I paid a hundred dirhams for a main and a dessert, but they were absolutely delicious. I would definitely recommend it here. Good morning. Ooh. 
Thank you. We're having breakfast in the hostel this morning, consisting of all of the classic Moroccan breakfast things. Eggs, toast, jams, with peanut butter type of liquidy sauce, and a lemon cheesecake of some description. It's not my cup of tea, this kind of breakfast, but we've got some orange juice arriving. I'm guessing, is this our hot drink? Yeah. The hot drink today is mint tea, classic. The hostel breakfast cost 40 dirhams and we had it in the lovely lobby area of the hostel. And before I move on, now feels like a good time to give you a little hostel tour. So we chose to stay in Tagazu Ocean View. It had really good reviews and is in a really good location in town, but you could argue that everywhere is well located because the town is so small and easily walkable. Myself and the boys are staying in a private three bed dorm. It was basic in amenities, but super cute and super clean. We also had our own ensuite and we're paying 30 euros per night between us. Karen and Jordan also had a nice private room with ensuite and theirs even had their own balcony with a view of the sea, which was awesome. Heading up towards the roof, one of the communal spaces is a lovely covered terrace looking out over the town. They also have an entire yoga studio up here, which is cool. I didn't go in, but I think you can privately rent this space. And then when you go up the final flight of wooden windy stairs, you arrive at the rooftop, which is just absolutely gorgeous. There is lots of floor seating up here and the view over the town and ocean is amazing. Honestly, we really, really loved this hostel. It was so cute and the staff were so friendly. The only kicker is the killer number of stairs you have to go up and down to get anywhere because the hostel is essentially just built vertically, but I would highly recommend it for backpackers in Tegazoo. Yeah. Salt though. having a bit of a slow lazy morning this morning we've made it out of the hostel and we have made it to a little cafe looking out over the sea which is nice cafe snack el Baira. Baria, Baria. what we found not just in morocco i mean this is in a lot of places is that every single establishment will have a different definition of what a cappuccino, a latte, um, like a coffee with milk is. And so you never know what you're gonna get. And so you never really know what to order. Because I want what we would have in the UK is like, let's say a flat white, but you don't know whether to order a cappuccino here, a latte, a cafe au lait. So I ordered a cappuccino this time um, and it looks more like a mocha, which I'm actually not mad about. There's no frame on it though. It's a bit overcast today, in fact it's even spitting yeah, a little sure bit of rain. Uh, but we're considering going to the Paradise Valley because we've heard that that's a nice little excursion. This is the taxi situation in Tagazoo. We've decided that we're going to get a taxi to the Paradise Valley. Um, we've just been quoted 500 dirhams for both ways for the five of us. Hopefully obviously they'll wait for us there, which we thought was a pretty good price. You wait for us in Paradise Valley? Okay, all righty. All so Ed, you are our tour guide for the day. You are our tour guide for the day. Yes, so uh, we're going to Paradise Valley. Uh, it was built in uh, uh, 1994 by, uh, uh, by sailors that came in from uh, the coast of Luxembourg. Your town! Uh, so landlocked country. <laughs> the right. thing is, you actually sound so confident that, like, it's all, cool. it's all you, about confidence. Yeah, if you weren't thinking about that, you'd actually believe you. You can like do, stuff, um, yeah. like, group tours to the Paradise Valley, but knowing our group, we're just a little bit lazy, and I, I think it takes a long time to pick everyone up from the hotels and things and so yeah we've just decided to do it ourselves and apparently it is quite difficult to rent a car for just a day so that was kind of out of the picture so here we are in a taxi <laughs> little photo opportunity along the way hello hello good morning look at this Look at all the palm trees. And there is a spot called Ali Baba's Cave underneath the whole uh, place. There's actually some super cool souvenirs here. You've got lots of necklaces, all kinds of jewelry and beads and little antiques. 250 million year old. 
250 million years old. They're looking 465 million years old. No, I don't believe you. <laughs> believe me, I have a book if you want. Do you? I actually just bought something I didn't think I would, but this was just too enticing not to. And I can't show you what I've got until I get back home because he's wrapped it up now. But um, Karen, can you show us uh, oh. like what it is? Uh, okay, so these are the rocks that they find in the mountains, and if you cut them in half, there might be a wee surprise in there. <gasps> Look at that. This is Malahet. So I have one of these. Amethyst. I mean, I'm a sucker for anything that sparkles, really. Yeah. <laughs> this is wow. so cool. Do we know what that one's called? Uh, I can't remember. I have to ask him. What was this one called again? Aperit. 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 From Tagazu to the Paradise Valley, which we have just been dropped off at, it was about 45 minutes, not including our souvenir stop shop. Yeah. That's cool. You can see um, that you can like, eat in the water with your feet soaking. It reminds me a lot of um, Turkey, actually. And the Saklikent Gorge. Oh, yeah, 100%. Yeah. yeah. It feels a bit, a bit more tropical than that, though, I guess, just because of these big palm trees. It's so pretty. I love it here. I am wearing my swimmers. I'm not sure if I'm going to go for a swim, though it does look kind of clean and clear and under control. I think we've made it. Oh, there's so many Ooh, Paradise Valley. How cool is this? Oh. Hello. The hills are alive with the sound of music. Good acoustics. You reckon? Yeah, to see what's going on. Yeah. You. Oh, these people. Are they swimming? They're jumping. That's very cool. So apparently, there is usually um, a lot more water generally in this valley because um, it just would have rained more, but it hasn't rained much at all recently at all. Is like come dipping in and out now and these pools uh, that we were at back at the start uh, looking absolutely gorgeous and actually very enticing swimming but we are on our way back now because our taxi man is waiting for us had it been a sunnier day all round and had we organized a little bit more time with our taxi man um, hundred percent be swimming in these. I have read online though that on the weekends these get majorly busy so if you can visit the Paradise Valley on a weekday it's gonna be just a lot calmer and a lot nicer to visit. Here's our guy. We're just 15 minutes late, which I think is okay. I did pause whenever we stopped, but going like right to the end of where you can walk and back took us one hour and 52 minutes. The total distance was 4.86 kilometers. And the elevation gain was 194 meters. It was quite steep at times. I'm certainly, I was getting out of breath. Even though there wasn't like as much water as maybe what there usually is, still so worth a visit. We've all had a great time, haven't we? Yeah. Now we're gonna go back into town and have some rocha chicken. <laughs> the boys have been waiting for this chicken man to be here for the last few days, and they finally got some success. You found your chicken man. Rocha chicken. We don't actually think chicken. we're sausage. Yeah, I, I want sausage. Yeah, it's raining. This is the first rain that um, we've seen in Tagazoo, and I think it's the first rain they've had here in a long, long time. Yeah. He loves it. Yeah. How much is it? 15. 15? Mm -hmm. Good price. No way, sausage man. Oh, we've come back to our favourite taco guy to get some pasticho today. Uh, we went for the viande hache one, which has like the spiced meat on, and he's given us a banana on top. It's a banana on top. Which is a rogue thing to put on top of a pasta dish. Eat it. But go on, yeah, you can have it. 
Oh. Is that banana with like spicy mayo yeah, on it? it is. It's a weird mix, but you know what? Not mad about it. Yeah, go on. You can have it. It works. <laughs> on our final evening, we went back to the bar we discovered on the first night. Possibly the only bar in town. It doesn't even have a name, but if you want to find it, it's next to Anwell Restaurant. It seems to be busy every single night there. A nice little vibe. And then sadly, it was time for us to leave Tagazoo. Our next stop is Marrakesh, and because it's quite a long journey, we booked a spot on this little tourist minivan, but I will tell you more about that journey in the next video, and I will see you then. Bye-bye.